What's up, Lockdown Legion? Welcome back to Nerds on Lockdown. I am Chris, as always. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, today, we're going to be going over a uh, new gaming streaming service uh, known as Amazon Luna. You guys have uh, probably heard of it. Um, it's very uh, similar to Stadia and Xbox. Uh, Xbox is a PlayStation streaming services as well. Um, and I just kind of want to do a little overview of it. Um, I was uh, lucky enough to uh, get in on it early and uh, uh, the early access of it and uh, to check it out. And uh, I can tell you right away, guys, um, right from the beginning of this uh, video, I I technically, I, I'm not really big into um, digital uh, games. I, I, I'm a collector and I like uh, physical versions of games. However, um, on the go, on your cell phone, I believe this is on Android now, um, and uh, while you're on your computer or whatever, um, and uh, you just want to, you know, be in your room, be wherever, and pop in a game, um, this does uh, make it uh, very easy. And for the price, I'm telling you, uh, Amazon Luna is great. Um, it's only going to cost you $5.99 a month. Um, and I'm not being sponsored, by the way, um, for this uh, for this video. But um, um, I did like it so much, I did want to do a review. Um I now uh, to preface, I I did have Google Stadia for a while, and I did get rid of that. Um, I I just didn't like it. Um, I do have the Xbox and the PlayStation uh, ones as well. Um, I do enjoy those, but I can tell you, as of um, about a week ago, um, I have really really come to enjoy um, Amazon Luna, and um, I like it because um, it's very stable um, comparatively to Stadia, and and that's the one I'm gonna uh, compare it to. A lot because I feel like it's the one that's closest to it um, is uh, Stadia is that um, Stadia I had nothing but problems it was always laggy problems it was it was I don't know what it was um, I've heard other people like Stadia and they have had no problems with it but I, I had nothing but problems however um, so far since I've had this uh, Amazon Luna um, I haven't had any problems with it and uh, so I want to show you guys today um, now, I just want to go over sort of the intricacies of uh, Amazon Luna. Um, uh, one of the features with Amazon Luna is they do sell a controller. Um, if you go to their website, they actually have a controller. I believe it's 50 or $60, I want to say. Um, it's very close to the um, Switch controller. It almost kind of looks like the Switch controller, in fact. Um, and it does have a proprietary like button on it that will take you back to the home screen every time, things like that. Um, so if you guys want to, you know, check that out, you guys can, um, for the purpose of this video, I already have a PC controller I love, and I'll be playing with my power, a, uh, fusion, um, controller, um, absolutely love this controller. It's, uh, probably one of the best controllers out there, um, for PC or Xbox. Um, it's fantastic. Anyways, um, you can play with keyboard and mouse too on some of these games. Um, it will allow you, it'll actually tell you in the game, uh, when you can, um, but let's start off um, up here uh, in the top. Um, this is the sort of icon um, uh, place where you can check out you know, the tabs. You can check out all your tabs and see what it is. Now, I am on the home um, button. I'm on the home tab here. Um, and it's going to uh, kind of go through all of these um, uh, different games that you can play. Um, now... Um, it's going to have your continued playing up top. It's going to have, you know, obviously some, uh, here's the Luna controller that I was telling you about. Um, it's going to have some, um, continue playing. Uh, it's going to have, uh, editor's picks, um, which are kind of cool. Um, newly added, uh, which is nice. Um, then your Luna plus channel. So, um, Luna plus is sort of like, that's what they're starting off with. Um, I believe that's your, your only option right now, unless you want to add on the Ubisoft channel. Um, and that I believe is an extra fourteen ninety nine a month, so it brings it to about twenty twenty one something like that. Um, I didn't get the Ubisoft uh, because I already kind of have all of these, so I didn't really need it. Uh, maybe later if they you know if they end up putting you know other stuff on here, um, and then it has your trending games on the bottom. Um, if we go down to library um, on on the left here. Um, it will give you everything that uh, is games are included with your subscription. So if you have the Ubisoft one, it'll add those onto here as well. Um, and as you can tell right away, um, this you know is not too old of a service. Um, they already have so many games, and the, and the quality of the games are um, 
sort of amazing comparatively to to uh, Stadia. Um, I mean, you have Control, which is a fantastic game. Castlevania and Contra Collection are almost worth it as a standalone. Um, Bloodstained is, is fantastic. Um, Fury is fantastic. Hard Reset's actually a really good game. I was playing that the other night. Um, I mean, there's just Panzer Dragoon, the Shantae games, which are my favorite platforming game. Um, it, it, it just keeps going. Uh, there, there's just really, really good games here. Um, uh, there's, there's also a playlist tab. Uh, this will, uh, this will, you can put the games on your playlist and you can go in and say, oh, well, you know, this is the one I want to play next. So, you know, so you kind of have a, you know, a backlog of, uh, things that you want to play next. Um, you can search, you know, there, obviously there's not, 100 plus games on here yet so there's no need to really use the search bar yet but um when they get there i'm sure it'll come in handy sort of like a netflix option and then you also have a settings tab um with uh controller you know preferences and things like that account preferences parental controls account linking audio video quality that's something to talk about here um there's no uh 4k yet um but apparently it's coming soon, as you can see right here. Um, it is locked at the standard um, 1080p, um, and it tells you it might, you know, use up to 10 gigs an hour. So the those of you that aren't on an unlimited plan, um, it's probably not, you know, it's not the service for you. Um, your audio control, though, you can if you have a nice surround system, you can put um, surround uh, quality uh, sound to whatever you know whatever you're playing on um note th that this does uh, play on you know the fire stick and the fire tv and all those other things um anything amazon related or smart related um account linking you can actually uh link your twitch account your ubisoft plus account um so you get those ubisoft points um so we're gonna go back home here and i kind of just want to real quickly jump into a game or two just to show you guys how well it really plays um, now the, uh, I was playing this the other night, actually, let's go into our library so we know what we can play. And I was playing this the other night, Grid, and, uh, this kind of gave you the, uh, it's a great looking game, and it gives you the example of, you know, kind of how well it actually plays. Um, so let's pop into there. Now, um, Play Now, uh, you have a add to playlist, you play this, you know, later or whatever, and then you have a Play Now option. Um, it tells you that it's included in your Luna. You have all these, and then you have all the um, all the things on the right hand side. It tells you uh, single player video, you know, audio, um, your inputs, controller, keyboard, and mouse. Um, so, all these kinds of things uh, you guys can see. Obviously, um, let's go ahead and hit play now and uh, check it out. Now, uh, just to note that this is the only time that I have ever seen any kind of. Um, advertising uh with luna is uh, right when it's kind of going in um you will see that network uh, issue detected if you guys are not on a hardwired system i'm on wi-fi right now so you know excuse that um now with any streaming platform you're going to have some type of lagginess um it's just inevitable until they make it you know extremely you know uh well built um however i will say that like i said that this is the most stable system that i've played on so far um comparatively and like i said i like to compare it to stadia because it feels more like that than it does than the xbox uh, and the playstation services so um so you see um I'm, I'm i'm terrible at this game guys so just give me like you know <laughs> don't make fun of me too much <laughs> Um, this is a fun game, by the way. Uh, it kind of takes you through different um, stages of uh, driving. You know, I already did like a NASCAR one, and I did a Formula One, I think, one, and things like that. Um, and uh, this kind of takes you through scenarios. You got like three, you know, you got to come back. You know, you get three, like, um, three, uh, three laps to try to come back, and I, I haven't beat this part yet because I'm just not good at it, so, um, but it is a very, uh, fun game. I am playing on controller, by the way. Um, I don't think I could play this on keyboard and mouse. would probably, uh, it would be maddening. <laughs> 
Um, as you can see, it runs really well, very smooth. I have no input lag when it comes to the uh, controller. Uh, I am using a wired controller, so I mean, um, I always believe in wired uh, controller when it comes to PC, well, wired controller, wired keyboard, mouse, things like that. Um, uh, but as you can see, I mean, it's beautiful. It looks great. It, it plays great. Um, you guys judge for yourselves, you know, uh, whether or not. Now, to get out of the, um, to get out of the, uh, the, the game, um, on your keyboard, if you're playing on keyboard, I'm sure it'll have a different thing on your, um, on your phone or, or TV or whatever, but you hit shift and tab at the same time and it'll bring up another, um, tab up here on the left. Um, and, uh, every time you, um, Every time you go to uh, get out of a game, it'll ask you, um, how was your service? And um, I always put good minor issues because there's always things, obviously, that they can, you know, fix or, you know, help. Um, let's go check out. Let's do one more. Um, let's check out maybe a um, an older game um, just to kind of give you guys, you know, kind of a newer look and then an older look. Um, let's go with, uh, maybe Contra. Let's check that out. Um, let's see here. This does have local co-op and all those things too. So, um, that's, that's really cool. Um, I, I'm super stoked about that. Um, it's going to be fun to do some gameplay on some of these games. Um, now that I feel like it's more stable than, you know, sort of a stadia or whatever. But, um check it out let's check out contra what should we get what should we do guys uh let's do let's do ooh, hard corpse hmm let's just go old school shall we yeah i don't know now i don't know if the uh up up down down i'm just gonna start easy so we can play up up down down left right at the konami code i don't know if that actually works on this uh I don't, I, I wouldn't assume so. Um, let's try it though. I'm trying to get into the game. Here we go. Not letting me get into the game. There we go. All right, here we go. Okay, so shoot wasn't the button that I thought it was gonna be. Where's the spread weapon? Man, this game brings back so many memories. Now this one's a little different than the original original on. SNES seems like the colors are a bit more bright and uh, I like this one too, the twirl or whatever it is. Um, ah no, we got got one guy left. Let's get this machine gun. Anyways, as you see, guys, um, I wonder. Let's. I haven't checked this out, so let's check this out together. Display settings. So you can go scan lines. You can go old school, sixteen by nine. Perfect, 4.3 scan lines. Let's check out. Uh, let's check out that 14.3 uh, scan line. 4.3 scan lines. All right, let's check that out. Let's see. Pretty cool. Cool. Let's get out of that game. And uh, yeah, guys. Uh, why don't you guys tell me down below what you guys. Um, what you guys, you know, think about digital gaming versus, you know, physical gaming, obviously, and uh, streaming service, and whether or not streaming services are going to be, you know, the thing, the go-to platform in the future. Um, I kind of want to know what you guys' thoughts are on it, and uh, yeah, let me know. Let's have a discussion below. Um, once again, guys, uh, before you guys go, don't forget, if you're new to the channel and you guys like the content... Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that like button. It'll help us out a lot. 
on our way to try to get to those uh, first 100 subscribers. It's really hard getting there, guys. But, um, you know, we're just going to keep on chugging along and uh, trying to get there, guys. So um, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for always being here. And uh, you guys stay strong out there and stay safe. And I'll see you uh, on the flip side. Peace.